So this uh, interesting video came up on my radar. I thought that we could look at this together. Kids in 1990 versus 2022. Oh. You guys, thanks so much for joining us. Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? And we're looking at an interesting retro slash current video from Beluga. It's a YouTube channel with 8 million subscribers. If you wow. if you all like the video we're about to look at, then uh, look at the description. There's a link there. In the words, in the midst, in the midst of all the words, in the uh, words, for the link to the video that we're about to watch, if you want to click on that link, give the original an upvote and subscribe to them from there. While you're subscribing, and upvoting, subscribe here if you haven't done so already. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Backwards intro. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Could be better. <laughs> I didn't realize that this is hyperbolic. I mean, the graphics back then really, it was cutting edge at the it time. It was cutting edge at yeah. the time. And now things look hyper realistic like, and we're like, ah, is it the, but the shading, mm, you know, the, the, uh, the ray tracing. Ray tracing. The <laughs> water words. What are, whatever. <laughs> what the are things. Technical things. Foilage. Yeah. The pores. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Halfway there. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> This is really good. <laughs> These I'm, are great. The whole traveling to school thing in 1990, though, it does remind me of Stephen He and the the one where the dads are trying to one up each other, and it's like, oh yeah, I had to walk uphill to school both ways, or like my trip to school was like 30 miles the, each way. What's the what's the hyperbolic saying everyone says? Is that it was uphill on both sides, or something like that. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. This this was very much that. It, yeah. it just seems like something your father would tell you, like, oh, in my day, I had to walk to school, and it was a 20 mile walk in each direction and I was five years old and I went without a chaperone. My dad did make me walk home from school several times because my dad was just terrible about picking me up. It would be this kind of thing where I, it, you know, three three fifteen hit and I'm waiting for my, my pops, 4.15 rolls around. My dad's oh. like, you got to walk home. I'm like, you could have said that about an hour ago. How long was the walk? Uh, It would take me like an hour. Or oh, something okay. like that. Well, the, Good thing, the, the thing about it is, it wasn't so much the walk that was annoying. It was that it was so hot because it's in the valley, mm. and so I'd have to walk home in the heat. And it's just like I would literally like <laughs> walk up to randos and this like who were part who were uh, on the road. I'm like, can you please give me a ride home? It's right up the street. <laughs> and people well, in the car would be like, no. no. Absolutely not. You weird child. But I was like, there was no mistaking that I was a kid. It's like, I wasn't going to rob you. I just wanted to get home. Oh, but you were a teenager. Teenagers yeah, a teenager. are scary. Teenagers are inherently way more scary than little kids. I guess so. If you were six, they would have been like, where's your father? <laughs> Yeah, that was the thing back then. I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? No. Oh, every kid used to draw that. And there was a, there's a whole video about that symbol on YouTube. They find out, they trace its roots, and it goes all the way like into the 1800s or 1700s or something crazy, like the first iteration of this symbol. Uh -huh. But you draw it like three vertical lines, three vertical lines, and then you just start connecting it, and it makes this like S shape. Oh. It's a very, very old symbol, but like all of us used to do it in school here. <laughs> Yeah, like that. We all used to do that. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it kind of it kind of did feel like that as a kid. Like you had your main channels. I mean, over here in LA, you had channel two, four, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. Channel thirteen. Yeah, the cartoons were usually like on Fox Eleven, and um, 
Channel 5, maybe Channel 7 as well. Channel 2, it was the, the shit channel. Like, there, <laughs> that was for the grown-ups and old people. That's where David Letterman was. It's like, it just wasn't good stuff, you know? And then Friends showed up on Channel 4, NBC, on Thursday nights. That was really all you had. And even cable wasn't all that great, mostly for grown-ups. If you were lucky enough to have cable as a kid, maybe you had the Disney Channel. Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. But that's mm. still two channels, right? Most of cable is garbage. And so, really, yeah, it was kind of like that. It was obviously being hyperbolic. And now you have this abundance of content. It's it's ridiculous. They, <laughs> life, life is, is so, so hard. hard. Exactly. Yeah. Too much choice. Kanto, it's only into song. Nice. Beluga. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the cat face. It's so cute. <laughs> oh Jesus! God! Oh man! Well, that was it. Oh wow! Yeah, it just okay, ended, it, it just, just ended, ended like that. abruptly yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah, just, just like there's no going outside now. That's the yeah. joke because you just don't <laughs> go to the dark lab. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was that was really really fun. It was very thorough. Yeah, very good. I enjoyed it. I like the jokes. <laughs> <sighs> we don't go outside anymore. That's the ultimate joke about the last one. It's like, for one reason or another, like, we have our phones and our iPads. Oh, stuff and there, to, there's a pandemic. Stuff to keep us entertained. I was getting to that. Yeah, the stuff to keep us entertained and keep us indoors. We're perfectly happy to just use our devices and not actually go outside and play sports, most of us. And then on top of that, you had the pandemic. And so it made us even more of a recluse, even more distance from everybody. What has happened is I feel like we've created two factions of people, mm -hmm. like the uber hippie dippy people who are like, I don't care if I get it, man. And they just go out to bars unmasked anyway. And then you have everybody else who are like super afraid all the time. I was at my dance class the other day and my teacher realized like 45 minutes in, she was like, what's in my pocket? Oh, it's a mask. Oh, we're supposed to wear masks today. Cause I heard that it's getting worse again. I was like, eh, fucking. at this point, like we're gonna, it's, we're gonna all gonna get it at some point. Like I've been dodging this thing since the beginning. I haven't caught it yet. Thanks. You know, I haven't caught it yet. I'll be, I'm, you know, hopefully that remains to be true. I don't know how much longer I can, I can keep up this, this charade. It's not a charade. I take that back. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm tired of it. It's been three years. I'm tired. I get it. You know? I get it. Or coming yeah. up in three years, starting in 2019. Yeah. I feel like uh, that probably has contributed a lot to people just being like, let me stay indoors. But actually going outdoors is great for you. It, it has so yeah, many it helps health your benefits. Immune, immune system, yeah. Yeah. So go outside, kids, after... After you finish watching this. I feel like the the first one was the most accurate one with the graphics. Everything was very, very new between mm -hmm. Atari and what you saw at the arcades, the Nintendo Entertainment System with Mario, and then going up to Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Even just after that with Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, the very first PlayStation. I remember playing on PlayStation and just how mind-blowing it was at the time. The polygons and everything, you know, playing Tekken. It was just amazing. And then Metal Gear Solid, it was like, oh my God, it's a freaking movie. You know, we like that. That was literally the feeling we all had playing Metal Gear Solid for the first time. And now we hate it. We hate that. It's like, what are we doing? Playing a movie? That's like the the complete opposite feeling now when there's all these cutscenes. When before cutscenes were dope. Like I used to love Final Fantasy just because of the cutscenes. Oh yeah, the cutscenes were cool. And now it's like, oh my god, how many more? Jesus, can I play a fucking game? Like that's the feeling now when you play a video. It's like, as, especially as a grown up, because you have so little time, right? You're just trying to get into the thing. And also our patience is way less, you know, being post Vine, post TikTok and all that. This thing with walking to school and whatnot, I feel like what you said was accurate. Um, that was more of a previous generation thing. But then I realized, you know, we are at the age where people have kids. I mean, people have kids at all kinds of ages. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember meeting a 40 year old great grandpa, which was mind blowing to me. Whoa. So you could have kids at any age and they could have kids at any age and so on and so forth. Sure. But anyway, we are, you know, properly in that age category where you have kids. And so it made me wonder, all this to say, it made me wonder what parents of our age category are telling their kids with regards to how they went to school because this person is going in the 90s. I had to like, you know, take this trek, you know, <laughs> uphill both sides, you know, to get to school. You just have to like go into Zoom. My school was way too far to walk. So it's my- like an elephant. Mm, yes, on certain days I took an elephant because yeah. I lived in Thailand. Most other days I'd either take the school bus or my mom would take me to school. Yeah, but like the convenience of just doing the Zoom call thing, I mean. Yeah. I don't think that's good for you. I think that's a really bad way to school. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm sure everyone is dying to get back into regular school yeah. and just like hang out with your friends properly. I'm sure the people who get bullied don't mind though. But I will say though, the one thing they didn't mention was kind of like the freedom that you would have had in the 90s because my parents would have been totally fine with me just going, hey mom and dad, like I'm just going to go outside and play with my friends now. And no adults were watching us. Right. We were just playing. Right. With regards to the abundance of content that we have now, because there is such a high volume of content that it's, it, it does feel like a chore to choose something to watch. Yeah. I've literally like had breaks from like, you know, working and whatnot. And I, I turn on Netflix and I just get so overwhelmed that the entirety of my break is spent trying to decide what to watch. And by the time I pick something, it's time to go back to work. I feel like it's a catch 22 because as a kid, while you had fewer things to choose from, it also felt like if you missed something, you kind of missed it forever. And that made it a little bit more stressful. This is like the opposite side problem, which is interesting because now you don't know what to watch ever. Because I remember as a kid trying to watch Superman on TV, like a live action show, but I, as a kid, you don't know what anything is. Like, you don't know what a TV guide is. Oh my God, TV guide, that just dated it. <laughs> but like, you don't you don't know when anything shows up. And so it was like, I happened to catch it if I, was, if I had the TV on and that show happened to show up, you know? Yeah. Or Power Rangers as a kid, it, it premiered at three o'clock every day. I'm like, why? Kids get out of school at three o'clock. How am I supposed to get home? I would always miss the first 15 minutes of Power Rangers. It was a pain in the ass. And so now, you know, everything's streaming. You have the convenience of choosing when to watch it, but it's like, this, that's the problem they illustrate. It's just like, well, how do you pick? Yeah, exactly. I can't imagine being a kid. Like, may, maybe it's different if you grow up in this because then you're used to this issue. And so it's easy for you to go, eh, I'll just go with that. Oh, yeah, you can binge watch all of Pokemon or whatever you like. And that's it. Right. But like, as a grown up, because we grew up in an era where there was fewer options, being hit with this abundance of options can feel overwhelming. But as a kid who grows up in this era with masks, with pandemic, with an abundance of choices. Maybe all this is like, you just take it for granted. It's like, okay, yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed some of that. Do subscribe. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.